Some uh, key issues are in the spotlight right now in our nation's capital. Yeah, East Bay Congressman Eric Swalwell is a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Joins us now for more. You've got a town hall tonight. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today. Of course. So you guys are on break, but it's been busy as it always is. We've got so much to talk about. We've got what's happening in North Korea. We've got Trump talking about taxes and maybe a big announcement on what he's going to do. When you're on break, what are you looking at and what has caught your attention the most? And saying, when we get back, let's let's you know, and, and even now, let's talk about this. It's a good chance to talk to your constituents, see what's on their mind, knowing that that's what, what you're going to take back to Washington, uh, you know, when you get back to work. So we're back uh, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and so we're having a town hall. Uh, we expect about 500 people uh, at Dublin They've High School. They've been very popular mm -hmm. this year. <laughs> yeah, that's my alma mater, so I'm looking forward to, uh, oh, to going good. there uh, this afternoon at 4 o'clock and seeing what they have to say. Let's oh. get right into the issues. I was just going to say North Korea. We were yeah. talking off camera during the break. Uh, it's a little scary what's transpiring and the fact that uh, the administration said we're sending a uh, armada, I think was his word, of uh, of uh, uh, ships up that way. And to it, Australia. And, yeah, and, and they eventually headed south. So what's that? what kind of message is that? to send around the world? Well, it, it tells our South Korean allies where we have about 28,000 U.S. troops uh, that we're not focused. Uh, I think, you know, they're counting on us. So, so is Japan, uh, who's also in the region. And so uh, when you say you're sending ships there, they need to count on you to deliver on that. And so I, I don't really think that was intentional uh, deceit. I think it was just not really having uh, your act together. Uh, and not, you know, having uh, full control of the range. Do you have an opinion on what the best strategy is when it comes to North Korea? Well, I, I think China is critically important. They're the largest source of food and fuel uh, for North Korea. And so having China uh, apply pressure, I think avoiding unnecessary uh, provocation. Uh, you know, it, it's one thing uh, to, you know, go after uh, countries like Syria uh, to continue to fight terrorism in Afghanistan. Uh, but once you start uh, you know, provoking a country that has nuclear, nuclear. capabilities, right. you better think uh, a, a number of moves down the board. Yeah. Okay, let's talk domestically because we've got, uh, we had a tax day. You have uh, tweeted about uh, being concerned about uh, Trump still not uh, releasing his taxes, and then he's talking about, oh, we're going to have this major announcement. Yeah, so he says tax reform uh, is on the way. I'm open, you know, to tax reform if that means uh, that working folks who haven't really seen all of the benefits of this economy uh, can benefit from it. And so something I've been doing is I've gone across uh, the country uh, with a group I have called Future Form. It's our 26 youngest members, and we're trying to understand how do we get these disconnected communities uh, connected to the innovation economy. And one way I think we can do that is if we can incentivize businesses to go to places they wouldn't normally go, give them a lower corporate tax rate if they're willing to share more of the profits with the backbone uh, of the workforce. So I'm willing to make that trade if that's on the table. Why is it so important to see President Trump's tax returns now, now that he is president? And uh, I guess, does he have something to hide, if you think? Well, for me, it's important with respect to the investigation into Russia's sure. interference campaign. Now, he, all, he said that he would show them uh, during the campaign. Every president going back uh, to Nixon has shown them. Uh, if he doesn't show them, uh, you know, I think it just shows you, you can't count on him to keep his word. But for me, to understand fully, uh, you know, whether there were uh, deep financial ties to Russia, mm -hmm. I, I would like to see those. Do you think we're actually ever going to see them? Uh, not without a subpoena, uh, I don't think. Okay, it is Earth Day, so I want to kind of talk about Earth Day. And we've had this March for Science happening in D.C. We've seen live pictures uh, from there this morning. We have one happening in San Francisco. Your take on it, I heard a lot of scientists saying we've got to fight for you know, this, this effort to battle climate change and global warming. I'll be marching with uh, scientists from uh, Lawrence Livermore and Sandia Laboratory uh, at about 2 o'clock today out in uh, Livermore. We've got nearly 10,000 scientists who work uh, out in the Tri-Valley. Uh, they are the smartest, we have, I have the smartest congressional di district in the in the country. Uh, in spite of that, they still <laughs> like to <laughs> So I, I don't know what that says. Are you ready for yeah. the election? Is this yeah. a march yeah. for science? Is this a march against President Trump? Uh, it's a march for science. And they, they do a lot of important work uh, at our lab uh, to make sure we have clean air and clean water. And the president's budget, which we'll be voting on in the next couple of weeks, uh, cuts uh, the EPA and their mm -hmm. efforts uh, to protect the air we breathe and the water we drink. So we want to make sure we stand up for, uh, you know, protections like that. Well, let's throw up the graphic. I know you got a town hall meeting uh, today at 4 o'clock at Dublin High School, your alma mater. Yeah. Tell us, have you ever seen the electorate so charged up and so engaged? You know, a young girl at a, a recent town hall I had said, I'm 19 years old. I've gone to the marches. I've gone to the, the town halls. I've gone to the airports does it really make a difference? And I told her, I said, in the history of our country, when people come together like that, that's the only thing that's ever made a difference. This, this electorate uh, is energized. If anyone was sleeping past the alarm, 
they're awake now, and I think that's a good thing for our democracy. And Earth Day did start by protests, and it that's did right. uh, get a lot of environmental right. changes uh, on the books. Eric Lowell, thanks so much for coming yeah, in. Eric, we appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in.